The Miraka Institute has developed a fire detecting system which is able to detect fires through satellite and alert building owners, land managers, disaster management teams and fire personnel by SMS messages. The system detects fires in South Africa, the whole of Africa and the rest of the world. We caught up with Lee Anamalai, Competence Area Manager at CSIR Maraca Institute, who gave us a brief background behind the system. Here at the Maraca Institute in the Earth Observation Group, we focus on building uh, space applications. So this is applications that are using information from satellite systems uh, that monitor very wide areas. So the Advanced Fire Information System is one of the most mature of these applications. And what it does is it uses satellite information to detect, to detect wildfires uh, across the country. So we can detect in the whole of SADC essentially, uh, but predominantly we monitor in South Africa uh, around where all these wildfires are and we are able to alert people uh, where these fires are. Lee further explained how the system works and how they process the data received from the satellites. Uh, what we do is we have a, a major ICT system that we built, it's computers and databases, as well as a satellite receiver. And the satellite receiver, and there's two of them, there's one here in Morocco, uh, in Pretoria, and there's another one at the Space Operations Centre in Hattapiest Hook, which is part of the Space Agency. So that data stream comes in to us. So when the satellites pass over, they image, the, they image South Africa or Southern Africa, they send us the data, and we receive it, or rather we receive it from the satellite, uh, and we're able to process that data. And what we look for is we look for hotspots. And those hotspots are incidences of fire. And we have algorithms that then remove false alarms, um, and uh, we're then able to precisely locate where all those fires are. We've then written software that uh, represents all those fire locations on a map that's interactive, as I was showing you, and you can, you can zoom in and out and you can look at where these fires are. And we're also able to then alert specific uh, organizations around where these fires are relative to their infrastructure. The AFIS system alerts the fire protection associations to make informed decisions and respond accordingly. So what we've done is we've partnered with many of these fire protection associations and we're able to supply them SMS alerts the moment we detect a fire within their jurisdiction, if you wish. Uh, and uh, we tell them that this is the precise location of the fire and they're able to then go there and put the fire out. So what we're able to do is very uh, quickly send the information to these fire protection associations or other fire management personnel, like for example in the Kruger National Park there's fire managers. And the moment we detect a fire, we send an SMS to them and they're able to respond very quickly. So what APHIS does is it aims to uh, prepare fire management personnel uh, to the fire events. The fire protection personnel feel that the system is more efficient, therefore making their task smooth sailing. There are so many advantages. I, I can't think of a disadvantage at the moment, really. So it's like a live system that shows you and detect fires, felt and bushfires. Now the advantages that it's got for us is that we can exactly see where the fire started and how it grows. Uh, it can also indicate to us what the wind direction is where that fire is. It can indicate to us what the size of the fire is. It also indicates to us what the fire rating is there, the danger of uh, additional fires. Uh, it can also show to us whether it's a big or a small fire and also with regard to the intensity of those fires because it is categorized in yellow, orange and, and red indicators which tells you that a yellow is for instance a small, uh, a low intensity fire, uh, orange is a medium intensity fire and then you get to your bigger type and major fires which is a big fires, major fires and extreme is the, the, the biggest which is a dark red one that's the uh, indication. Now in doing that when you send out your crews to extinguish those fires, you can exactly tell your crew and the incident commander on the scene uh, what the wind direction is, where they should actually go and start extinguishing, extinguishing the fire. Uh, it can also tell you whether it's in mountainous areas, what is the best way of getting there, access roads, whether there are dams near it, whether there are rivers near it. So uh, there is just only advantages for fire services when we get to this type of system. 
Across Africa, where agriculture is the mainstay of the economy, wildfires are a common occurrence. Innovations like the fire detector system that the Meraka Institute has developed are a step in the right direction.